Hey, welcome to the October edition of What Would You Make? Hosted by OK at Home DIY and Connie's Creative Creations. Guest host, Crafts with Miriam. Links to the hosts and the playlist will be in the description box. For this DIY, I'm using two wooden frames from Dollar Tree and two pieces of free scrap wood from Home Depot. So what I'm gonna do is get my frames put together and mark off on my scrap wood where I need to make my cuts and then get my tray assembled. Then I moved on to gluing my frames together with Gorilla Wood glue so I would have a nice permanent hold. And then I added some cut pieces of craft stick to make sure that both pieces were joined and that the base part of my tray would be sturdy. Then I removed the cardboard covering the photo area and I should have pulled the prongs out on that first heart, but I didn't until I flipped it over. But then I just covered over the openings with these giant pieces of craft stick from Walmart. Okay, so I take this down to ensure that it was sealed. I pulled the metal things here, but I didn't do them there. I'm gonna go ahead and add some um, wood filler. This wood filler acts as a strengthener to um, any projects you have. So I'm adding this to every spot in the tray that will have a crevice or any type of opening. And as a second layer to cover the opening, I'm using the foam core board. I did a dry fit of all of my side pieces and then I used the Gorilla Wood Glue to adhere them to the base of my tray.
and just extra security in the corners. I added a few pieces of painter's tape and then the little supports that came with the frames. I glued some of those into the corners for extra support and then added my little bottles that I had on the outside just to make sure that everything stayed together um, while the glue was setting up. So I let my glue set up for about two hours and then I went back with more wood filler to fill in all the crevices on the corners and the inside portion of the tray. And once that filler had dried, I used some 80 grit sandpaper and went over everything to smooth it out so that it would be ready to be painted. And I used bright red from Apple Barrel to cover the inside and outside of the tray. Okay, so my paint is dry and I'm going to apply um, here, I want to put Claws Candies and I'm going to use my clear stamps. I found these stamps at Dollar Tree, um, alphabet stamps. This block is from Michaels and I'm using white ink, the Craft Smart ink from Michaels. So I have my letters lined up and my block has the lines and that's how you can ensure that everything is straight and always double check by turning your block over to make sure that you have your letters um, correctly because you have to put them on backwards and you just double check like that. So I'm just going to use my white Craft Smart ink. So I want Claws Candies. Okay, so now that my ink is dried, I waited a few minutes. I have this stencil from Chalk Couture. I'm not a designer or anything. I purchased this from my friend Lon from Living Life with Lon. I'll link her channel in the description box. But I'm going to angle this so on one end I have two pieces of candy and then at the end I have the longer piece and I'm going to do all the candies with this titanium white so it really pops against the red paint. different Christmas trays recently like Target, Marshalls, and Ross. I'm trying to craft from my stash as much as possible so I figured with all the scrap wood I had that I could save myself a few bucks and just make one at home and so far I'm really loving the way my homemade tray is turning out. For these foam areas, I'm going to cover those with this hard coat Mod Podge. Okay, all of that Mod Podge is now dry. So for the bottom, I'm going to add these Dollar Tree foam 
feet protectors and that's it for my tray okay with all of my little feet pads on the bottom added here's my completed tray i think this came out beautifully it's not huge but it's not tiny each of the frames are six by nine and a quarter and i have it styled here with a mug from walmart and a radon candle and there's still plenty of room behind these items so it's a nice size tray i'll be having this on my coffee table for christmas and i would love to know what do you think of my christmas tray If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. It's totally free. Don't forget the playlist. I'll have a link in the description box along with the link to all of our wonderfully talented hosts. Have a wonderful day. God bless.